Hey everyone and welcome back. You guys, I got a little haul. Um, let me adjust y'all a little bit. Hold on. I wasn't cut off at first. There we go. Um, I have an ultra haul. And I just threw my um, CP Petite in there real quick. Um, also, I have a Sephora haul. I had ordered something from Sephora. Y'all, let me tell you something. TikTok is going to be <laughs> the worst of me. Hold on. I was warming up my food. I had made um, some chili the other day. That day it was like rainy and cold. It was just the perfect day for chili. I think that was, what's today? Thursday, it might have been Tuesday, maybe Monday. Anyway, let's start with the Sephora haul. Um, <clears throat> I got some Born This Way Super Coverage Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer from Too Faced. And this is in the color Butterscotch. I was trying to find something a little closer to my skin complexion, and I probably should have tested it out, but here it is. Let's see. Because I want to, like, when I line my brows, like, I didn't line them today. They're just on. I want it. So, oh, this might do it. Oh, wait a minute. Let's see. Yeah, it's still a little lighter. Oh, my God. It's still a little lighter, so I might use this either under my eyes for not a not so bright um, concealer and to do under my eyes. But I was just in Ulta and I was looking at the shape, the tart. I used to use the tart like really. I love that concealer. When it ran out, I just didn't really care. <clears throat> I picked up one and it was so close to my complexion, and now I wish I would have got it. Because I was like, well, let me see what the butterscotch looks like before I just go ahead and purchase this. And I think I'm going to need that to, like, just line the, you know, the tops and whatever. So hopefully I can figure that out. Then I got some of the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. I had just heard so much about it. And I used to be a Bobbi Brown fan. Just never used this. So let me open it. Ooh. Ooh. Because I'm... I've always, ooh, mm, and it smells good. I've always been into like skincare ever since I was like in high school, and I always just love taking care of my skin. Like now, today, I don't have on any makeup. I just have on um, some lipstick, some mascara, and I did my brows because I'm kind of letting my skin breathe, and I'm like liking, excuse me, I am liking my skin. Like, it is cleared up so much. I used to get dark spots here. This would be crusty. <laughs> no lie. When I'm not into my skincare, this would be crusty. Here would be crusty. And there was just some dark patches um, where I have my molds and freckles. That would just seem like it was irritated. And then I noticed lately that I've had, like, a couple of dots here. So I'm working on that. <clears throat> I was getting a zit right here. But I went into my bag, <laughs> my skincare bag, and whipped out something. And it's just been working. Okay, more skincare. I got the niacinamide from The Ordinary. I love The Ordinary's products. Let's focus here. Let's focus. I love The Ordinary's products. I have a couple of their items. And I definitely love the hyaluronic acid. I was using that religiously to the point when my skin was real dry. I think it was menopause that was causing my skin to be dry. So I started using that and then it just almost came back to its normal self. So now I don't really use the hyaluronic acid. I just use like other things like moisturizer stuff like that. My skin, y'all, is buttery. I'm going to show y'all what else I picked up from Marshalls that I am absolutely in love with. If you want glass skin, like I have no makeup on y'all, but y'all see how the light is, and my kitchen light is very dull. My husband doesn't like it bright in here. I like it bright, but um, I don't know if you can see how shine I have nothing on but moisturizer I'll do a whole video probably end up on my beauty channel of my beauty my skincare fave stuff like that but it's the snail mucin and essence snail and essence duo 
when I say we'll have your skin together, I've only been using it. I got it when we went to my son's school last week. So that was on Saturday. I started using it on Sunday. By yesterday, which was Wednesday, I could tell a difference. And I was like, I think this is giving my skin a little glow. And I just picked it up on a whim. Um, I have some snail essence, or no, snail mucin or whatever. I have some that I got from Walmart. But that brand, I did hear about that brand, but nobody had talked about the duo. I don't know why not. Anyway, this is the niacinamide, and this says high strength vitamin and mineral blemish formula. And let me see. Clinical formulations with integrity, whatever, whatever. Um, I'm going to read up on it, but I think the reason I got this is for pores. Because... I got it for my pores because all the skincare that I do, I just felt like my pores were getting more and more prominent. And I had been using the, you know, the one size spray, but like, and then I have this other little balm that kind of clears it up. That's fine. But when I take off my makeup, I see pores and we need to get them together until I can afford me a um, esthetician. Okay, what else do we got? Oh, on TikTok. <laughs> And this girl who had cleared up her acne and stuff, she used the Caudalie Vinyl Clean um, Cleansing Almond Milk. So this is what it looks like right here. Y'all, I can't wait to try this. I don't really, I have certain cleansers that I like. Like I said, I love the Rihanna Balm. Loving that. But um, I wanted to give this a try as well. And I have the Caudalie, it's a vinyl source, like SOS Hydration Cream. Man, listen, it took me almost a year to use that because you don't need a whole lot of it. But let me tell you, it's getting low, right? I'm scraping the bottle. It comes in a glass jar. So I said, well, let me go ahead and order some more. It was going to be with this Sephora haul. They have discontinued it. And they only kind of sell it in a tube, a plastic tube. And so I went to their actual website thinking, okay, I can get it here. Mm -mm. Uh, someone was in the reviews saying how they wish they wouldn't have discontinued the glass bottle it does come in the plastic it doesn't smell the same and they just really like the original so i'm with the original all right long let's, let's cut this because we're at eight minutes um so as of at ulta i picked up the Julius place blush i have not y'all i've just been buying liquid blushes my powder blushes i don't know where they at i probably threw them away so I picked up the volume one. Oops, and this is what it looks like. Trust me, the light is making it light, but it's a deep. I wish the light would let me turn the light out. Hold on. Okay, there we go. So now you can kind of see the colors. And these um this color here is kind of new to me. It's still not showing. It's not giving what it needs to give. But, yeah. So, we got that. Okay, the light is back. Now, next from Ulta, I got this Real Techniques. It says setting brush, uh, cheek brush. Listen. I'm going to use this to, like, set under my eye, like, powders and stuff like that. I probably got one. But I don't think I have the Real Techniques. I don't think I have that one. So, that's that. I picked up some more Real Technique brushes. Um, these, again, are like for my eyes. Um, I'm gonna use concealer for those and then like to arch my brows. Then I picked up the infamous Continuous Setting Spray by Morphe. I have the Gold Bottle by Morphe, which I like, but people are brave about this, so they had a sale, so I just got the smaller bottle. Uh, then, I picked up some, I just did my body scrub in the shower last night, but I picked up this vanilla shade um, sugar scrub from Tree Hut, and I love Tree Hut's, um, this light, maybe, okay, there it is. So I got that, and I've been looking for a scrub for my lips. Y'all, please excuse the dogs. Anyway, we're almost done. Then I picked up this infallible blush. I think the girl's name is Tamara Renee. She's on TikTok and she's on YouTube. And 
she mentioned this, so I got this. Y'all, I'm telling you, the light is just wiping it out, but it's super pigmented. So I thought it would go with, I'm gonna show you, but I'm gonna show you next. But it looks very similar to the blush that I got from Julia's Place. So I was like, maybe I need to take this one back because this one's more expensive. Anywho, and the last thing that I got was some of this e.l.f. Camo Liquid Blush. These are the blushes that I use, liquid brush, liquid blushes that I use are from e.l.f. They're just so pigmented. I love them. I do want to try some Rare Beauty ones, but um, I just wanted to get this. And y'all, it's pigmented. The light is going to probably wash it. I'm telling you. Okay, y'all. I'm in the bathroom because them dogs are just getting on my nerves. But as I was saying, um... I wouldn't normally go for that type of blush, but, um, yeah, so, oh shoot. so I'm just putting my stuff up, um, I'm going to open this brush and see if this is too light, and then I have taken, these, this is my kid's bathroom, but I have taken it over it because it's bigger than my bedroom bathroom and um, it just has more room and like for my girls trip I think I told y'all I wanted to get some of the mini mascaras and so I saw that Ulta had them I just didn't pick them up today but I'm going to go back and get those now here's what I've been doing for my like bunch of people this is what I've been doing I've been um, like if I know I'm going to spend some money, I've been putting into my, um, what do you call it, high yield savings account because you know we're in the ending the end of the year. So it's like I'm not, I'm just doing better even though like I said I am spending a little bit, I'm doing better. Yeah, so this is kind of close. I know the light is not doing it justice. Well, with the light you can't tell but it is very close to my skin complexion it's like a shade lighter i know some of the um my brown skin sisters and beauty people they like to use it like for their under eye so yeah that's why i wanted it to be a little closer to mine just to give me like a little lift yeah so they just define them a little bit you can probably see the light is hitting it so you can define oh and while i'm thinking about it let me show y'all what i got from marshall's and I want y'all to check it out. Yeah, like I have, y'all see, I look shiny, don't it? This is just natural oils and that essence. Okay, this will be it, and I'm gonna get off because my chili is gonna get cold. But this is what I was telling y'all about the Caudalie. This is um, the jar that it comes in. I'm gonna say, oh, I got some in there. Uh, no, it's very, very little. But I, oh God, this, this was so good. I really pray they bring it back. I, I'm gonna show you what I'm using in place of it. It's okay. It's not as moisturizing as this. I love this and Emperlis, but it's not as moisturizing. But that same girl that told me about the little milk from Kylie, um, talked about this nutrient plant serum aside. Serum, ceramide rich moisture cream so I've been using this and it doesn't have a, I'm not gonna y'all can smell it but it doesn't have a smell to it but it does the job done so that's what I have on top of this right here if I, I'm tempted to go get go back and get some more because I'm afraid that they're gonna discontinue it and I just may do that so it was about $16.99 and I almost did it today. I almost went to the Marshalls, but yeah, it's a duo. So if you can see, like one side is got the no, this is the clear side, and then this is the side with the essence or the essence and the mute mu uh, snail. So it's called Advanced Snail Radiance Dual Essence by Cos RX. Cos RX. Let me see if we can get close. So, if you see this in your Marshalls, 
gonna get it if you want the glass skin that everybody's talking about or just a natural glow y'all i promise you i have no foundation on i have nothing on i did my regular skincare and real quick what i do is i do a cleanser okay i, I i'll I'll probably have to put that on my beauty channel, but I do a cleanser, and then it just depends. Then I'll do a toner, and then I'll probably do the snail toner, because like I said, I had a little dot here. Um, so I did that, there was a blemish um, toner. Then I do serums, how many of them, one, two, and then I'll do this, and then I'll do this. And that's why today I said I just want to feature face. I didn't want to put no foundation on or anything like that. I just want to feature face. So what I'm about to do now is clean up this mess. I'm going to unpack um, all my makeup goodies. This is where I've been doing my makeup. So um, just kind of, y'all, I think I showed y'all this. Don't laugh. This was so nice and neat. Remember I got this and I told y'all, I'm going to put all my little, you know, I'm going to carry my makeup. Girl, look at it. It's a mess. So um, I'm just going to straighten up and unpack this stuff and then i'm gonna go eat my chili but i just wanted to kind of touch base with y'all tomorrow is friday i'm off i've been taking this every other friday off and i'm loving it for myself and we're going to my son's game it is oh that reminds me i need to get tickets to my daughter's battle of the bands so friday we're going to my son's uh, game but it is like a two hour drive from my house then Saturday, my daughter has a, um, they're in the Battle of the Bands, so I'm going to that. i tell you, I'll show you one more thing else. I did pick this up, got this, I just ordered it on Amazon. I happened to be in Target and they had it. I didn't know they had it. This is another setting spray. I'm gonna be real with you. I sprayed it on in the store. And instantly, I felt my face get a little tighter. And I was like, okay so I went back I sprayed it again and then I sprayed it on my hand and it had like a little you know stick to it and I said hmm y'all I think I like this better than one size but the bottle is so small so I I might use this like travel when I go out of town what else did I order online that was it though so I was telling y'all about the Morphe mini continuous prep and set mist this is supercharged with ceramides ceramides and antioxidants so I was using this one and I really like this one but and it don't sound like nothing's in there but it it's plenty in there so and it probably just gave my face a little bit more of a glow but yeah so I've been using that one it's much smaller than this one but that's it for some reason I thought I had oh I did I picked up some lashes from somewhere Somewhere I thought it was getting a sale, but I wasn't. But anyway, I'm just gonna straighten this stuff up, go eat my chili, chill out for the rest of the day, and I will talk to you guys later. Hey, you guys, we are just getting in from church, and um, oh, let me get my thing. I wanted to hop on because I've been meaning to get with y'all, but it's just been I've been running since. <laughs> Everything that we've been running since we're Friday. Um, I don't know if I included anything, but um, I just wanted to do it. Oh, this is the wrong one. I wanted to do a quick outfit of the day. Hold on. Kind of like a face of the day, but um, I was rushing, so to me, my makeup don't look that good. I got my shades on. These are my Bottega Veneta dupes. Um, I got them off of Amazon. I'm going to try to remember to link them y'all y'all can see my makeup is taking over the whole thing but i found that this area is better for me oh. these and i got them from marshall's and i actually got them in my size which is a nine these are the sincerely sincerely jewels but anyway, we just got home and um, I picked up some, hold on. But yeah, we just got home and so hubby picked up, um, what do you call it? Um, Popeyes, I got Chipotle, so I'm gonna eat some Chipotle. Oh, let me let y'all look at the makeup. So yeah, I don't think, it was a rush job, so it's, it's not what I would normally wear, but um, everything I have on is thrifted besides the shirt and the shoes. The shirt is a TikTok. 
um, that I got off of TikTok. These pants I thrifted years ago. Never been able to wear them. They're actually a 20, but now they're too big and I just have them pulled up. So yeah, and then this jacket I thrifted. Y'all, I put together some outfits on Pinterest. Like, if you ever want to see where I get some of my style inspo, it is on Pinterest. Um, and so I saw this look, but it might have been a different top. There were heels probably involved. And I was going to do heels today with this, but I was like, Ugh. the only ones I could find was my little black kittens. And I was like, um, yeah, we don't want to keep wearing the same little heels, but I was going to do those. I think those would look better, but we were rushing, so I just slid these on and yeah this buttons and also when I first got this I would have the quarter length sleeves when I first got this it didn't fit I couldn't button it but now I can oh you guys let me tell you let me get closer to tell you let me tell you we have reached our second goal in the decade um, so I think the last time I talked to y'all I had went down to 227 then I went back up to two no I went to get to 228 Went to 2.30, got back down to 2.27, but this week we reached 2.22, so we have three pounds to go to get into the two teens. We'll be there this week. I'm not even worried. I'm going to be there this week. I'm so excited. Um, I go to my doctor on the 29th of this month, August, no, excuse me, October 29th. I do blood work that week before, so I want my blood work to look good. Um, by the 29th, I hope to lose like... I hope to be into like the by 209 by the time I go to my doctor it's doable I just gotta really focus I took last week off to exercise because of my hamstring but then I was talking to my cousin this morning and she was saying that one of those medicines caused her body to ache and so I was just like you know what that might be it um, but y'all excuse the dogs they're chewing on their bones but I'm going to kind of just do a little you know reset and uh just try to get back on track so hopefully the next goal i'll be at it's like 219 and then like i said by the 29th my goal is to be like 109 108 i think it's doable i think it's doable because that's what maybe 10 12 13 pounds i think we could do that by the end of the month and then my girls trip so definitely by my girls trip i want to be um the low 200 so if that's like 205 or whatever so and i'll take y'all along for that when this will go up i'm ending the vlog today because today is sunday but when it'll go up uh, i don't have a clue because i'm resetting for business i know oh yeah I'm resetting, you know, for the business for Norris Cove. Um, we're slowly getting rid of the budget box. And we just had like another subscriber to cancel. And everybody's having like financial problems and I understand that. But I want to kind of put my focus back into the business part of it. What I was doing before and just focus on like getting these last couple of boxes out, which will we'll go to next year sometime. But I'm just not advertising it. Like if somebody wants to get the budget box, that's fine they can get the extras or either they can just email me about you know a subscription i can just put them on to the month to month but i think that's what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna get rid of the maybe i'll just get rid of the three to six month option but yeah so that's what i've been thinking about and i just need to focus i want to focus on that but at the same time i'm still trying to um you know just create content for probably my upcoming channel or the beauty channel and just really you know lock in and not just get too too distracted but anyway i'm just standing up and i need to eat my food so i will talk to you guys later again i'm gonna end the vlog here if you're new to this channel i'm yoshida i would love to have you here also follow along so when we do change and go to a new channel you're right there with us if you are interested in anything stationary i'm your girl and feel free to subscribe and follow along and i will talk to you guys in my next video Bye.